Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Megan Graham and today I am here to talk to you about LifeWave patches and common mistakes to avoid. If you are not familiar with it, this is the LifeWave X39 patch. These are the patches that I'm talking about and this is the main LifeWave patch that most people are actually using. So this is an amazing patch. It has provided me with more energy, more stamina, more beautiful skin, my hair has grown back in. These are my personal results. Everyone's results are unique, but I have had some incredible results. I just wanna make sure that if you are using this patch, you are getting the same results or similar. Mistake number one to avoid is too much too soon. So I have my patches. I am a LifeWave brand partner, so I have all of the patches and I don't use all of them all at once. And I did not start with them in the beginning, but when you see LifeWave's website, it is often so tempting to buy several patches and you're looking at these benefits thinking, great, I'm just gonna put all of these on my body and have all of these benefits at the same time. What I would say is that each patch is going to be signaling your body to do a particular thing and it could be something that perhaps has slowed down with time with your body. So. I believe it is much better to get used to one patch or two patches in the beginning and then consider layering in other patches over the course of a few months. My favorite patch that I think everybody should start with if they're starting with one is absolutely the X39 patch. This is linked in the description of my YouTube. So if you go to the description, you will find a link to this patch and where you can purchase it. The other patch that I really like to start folks on is this Eon patch. The reason I start these two together is that this supports healthy levels of inflammation and I have found this to be a great patch to help with your general health and vitality. And as far as my body has concerned, it seems to be working so much better. I have more energy since using this. This is my favorite combination for almost everyone to start on. If you do not have inflammation or you do not have any illness, you may be able to skip this patch, but this has been an amazing patch for keeping my nervous system regulated, keeping my stress levels low, and really lowering my inflammation, which was sky high when I started these patches. So just starting small, not putting all the patches on at the same time is really important. Mistake number two is inconsistent patch wearing. It's so amazing because to me, it's the easiest thing in the world to keep my patches in a place where I'm going to wear them every single morning. I leave them directly in front of my coffee mug because I'm always going to have my coffee. I open up the patch and I immediately put it right here at the base of my neck, right at the top of my spine. So many people, when I'm talking to them, they're like, oh yeah, I bought the patches. I meant to use them, I just forgot stick the patch on every day, you will notice such a big difference. But if you are wearing this completely inconsistently, or if you try the patch for a few weeks and decide that you haven't seen miraculous changes, you're not giving the, the patch chance to work. So many people, because they have seen so many things on the internet, are expecting instant huge miracles. And be reasonable and know that you also need to be consistent. These patches do take time. Mistake number three is not writing down the symptoms that you are experiencing before you wear the patches. So many of us just put them on and we expect to have this huge change and to feel like everything is different at the same time. One thing that has been so interesting for me is that I actually did write down all of the issues that I was having before I started the patches and there were so many. And what's been interesting is that after a month, I revisited my symptoms. After three months, I revisited my symptoms and I was able to see that a lot of my symptoms, either I wasn't seeing them daily and I was only seeing them once in a while or they had improved. Fatigue was definitely my biggest symptom and I was having trouble getting through the day. And I, I didn't feel, when I put the patches on, I didn't feel like I had energy from an energy drink or from drinking three cups of coffee. I just noticed that over time, I was comfortably able to do more without efforting my way through my day. So before I wore the patches, I was feeling exhausted and I was just 
forcing myself to get things done. And now I have just found myself to be moving more along to feeling like a healthy person with a lot of energy where I can get my chores done, get my work done, and even where I am consistently showing up for my YouTube. There was a big period of time where I just didn't feel like I could show up on YouTube because I was too tired to speak to people. So it is those changes. Um, my husband and I noticed that we stopped drinking that second pot of coffee. Um, his nagging hip pain that he had had for six years went away. So it is those things that change. And if you're not paying attention, you might not notice the changes that you are having. Mistake number four is not taking a picture on day one. I think a lot of people think they're just going to remember and they know what they look like and they know what the changes are. I went ahead and took a picture of my scars. I took a picture of the bald spots that I had right here on my hairline, which are actually gone now, and a picture of my face. And I was really surprised when I compared them in only three weeks because I was already able to see some changes. And I hadn't done anything differently. I wasn't doing any new expensive skincare or any you know fancy routines, but because I had the photos, I was able to see. And they were subtle changes. I obviously didn't look like a new person, but over the course with each month, I have noticed more and more and more. And so by being able to compare those pictures, we have something that we can look at and actually know if things are changing. It is a really satisfying thing to compare those pictures. And again, you wouldn't really think that that much could change. It's just a little patch, but a lot can change over the course of one, three, six months, you'll see the changes, but it's so much better if you actually have a photo with the same light in the same place during the same time of day. Really important. Like, please don't take one with overhead lights and one with front light. It needs to be the same to compare. Mistake number five is not being patient and not giving the patches enough time to work. I will say that many people are going to decide if they're going to stay on the patch within a month, but I truly think that the patches take about a month for each decade that you are old. So I'm 47 years old and that would mean that I would need to wear the patches for about five months, which is about what I've been wearing them to see my results. I still think that I need to wear them. Of course, I'm going to continue wearing them, but for even longer because I was so sick when I started that at this point, I feel like I'm finally back to my chronologic pardon me, at this point, I'm finally back to my chronological age, but I know that I still have more healing and recovery to do, so I am going to continue to wear the patches while I do the other things for my health. Give the patches a chance and know. Um, I sometimes get, I think I just got an email from someone and they were like, I've been using my patches and I don't know, will I see a change soon? They were 10 days into the patch. That is so early and I don't, sometimes I'm not really sure of exactly what people think is going to happen that quickly. I know you see stories on the internet, but everything in your body is not going to change in 10 days. I don't care what you're doing. Be patient, give things a chance to work and work on any healing and replenishing that is going to happen with your body. Number six, and this is so important, is that people don't always make sure that they're eating healthfully, that they are getting the minerals and the nutrients that they need, and they don't look at the basic thing, which is like, look where I am. They don't look at their home and their environment, and take a look at your home. Is it clean? Are you getting fresh air? Are you using air filters? I do think that this is important. It's not something that you have to do with your patches, but know that if you're using patches and your home environment isn't healthy, your patches are going to have a difficult time outrunning poor air quality. So I would look at your air quality. If you can do that, look at your air quality and make sure that your home is actually healthy for you. I would love to hear from you guys and I would love to know what brought you to this video. Are you looking at the LifeWave patches? Have you started using the LifeWave patches? Do you have any comments about experiences that you have had with these patches? I was really skeptical. Someone initially told me about these patches and tried to get me on a call to learn about them and I just wasn't interested. I thought they sounded fake. They really sounded too good to be true. And I've heard about so many things like that. 
And then another person told me and I was still skeptical. And finally, my best friend of 20 years told me about these patches and she had been wearing the X39 and she said that she, she had had fatigue for quite a few years and since using the patch for four months she said she was able to do twice as much physical activity with feeling great and that was really enough for me to try the patches she's not an active brand partner but she did think that they could make a difference for me and i can honestly say that my life changed when I started wearing the patches. Um, it was an amazing thing for me. And so that has been my experience and that's why I love to share the patches. I also always try to have a really realistic view of the patches and to explain to people that the patches are an amazing tool, but there's also so much more that we need to do for our health, which brings me into my next point. Number seven is just expecting the patches to do everything for your body and not getting the proper medical care and not doing the things that you need to do. I explain this to people over and over, but I do work with actually two functional practitioners and I know that's a lot, but I had so many issues that needed to be cleared up. And so not only am I using the X39 and not only am I using patches that are targeted to things that I need, but I am also getting labs done every two months so I know exactly what's going on with my body. One of the great things about me getting my labs done is it has also shown me the positive changes that have happened. Um, so when I wore the X39 for two months, my inflammation levels were incredibly high when I started. And when I wore it, actually I'll tell you my four month change. After four months of wearing this patch and doing other things as well, all the things I'm supposed to from my physician, I was able to half my, my inflammation, which is a huge deal. It was so incredibly high when I started that it was dangerous and I was able to cut that in half. So these are the things that are really interesting to measure. And I think doing all of those things, seeing your doctor and getting care that you need or your practitioner, your naturopath, whoever it is that you're seeing, those things are important as well. The patches are, the way that I look at it is that they are the cherry on top. They are something that helps me so much, but they're not the only thing that I do. So mistake number eight, and this mistake isn't something that anyone that's actually worn the patches has made, but I think mistake number eight is when people do not give the patches a chance and they just say, those patches don't work, those patches are fake. I just don't think that you should say that if you haven't given the, the patches a chance. The company, which is LifeWave, has a, I say it's a 30 day money back guarantee. If you buy them retail, I believe you have 90 days but you can return the product. So if you can return the product and there is no risk in trying the product, I don't really think it's fair to say it doesn't work because you really have no idea of what you're speaking about. They do work, I've worn them, they're amazing. The company does not send me the product for free. I buy the product, I send it to my mother, I send it to my father, my husband wears it as well. It's an amazing product. And for the folks that are saying that it doesn't work and they haven't tried it, I just don't think that's fair. And I think you should give it a chance because you will never know unless you give it a chance. And I know I was skeptical, I know I was exactly the same way, but I do feel really differently now. So very quickly, I thought I would show you guys the patches. So this is the X39 patch. To me, this is the most important of all the LifeWave patches. It has been incredible for me. This is going to increase GHKCU in your body. And GHKCU is a pretty amazing thing. Once your GHKCU is increased, it can increase your stem cell activity as well which is really beneficial for healing and recovery. And that's the exact reason why I started wearing these patches. This is the X49 patch. This patch was designed to increase your AHKCU in your body, which has some pretty amazing benefits. If you Google AHKCU, you can actually see some of those benefits. Um, I'm not making any claims about the patch, but it is pretty interesting to see what can change. The next patch that I love is the Eon patch. 
This patch has been incredible and supportive at helping me to get my anxiety under control at helping me to reduce my inflammation. And I love this patch for any of my customers that have a diagnosed condition. I find that if you have a diagnosis, you most likely have inflammation. So for their symptoms of inflammation, I love the Eon patch. I didn't sleep well for about 20 years and I took things to fall asleep, which I think we all know isn't the best for you. And this is the patch that I wear every night and I no longer have to take anything to sleep. This is the Silent Nights patch. I wear it on the bottom of my right heel. That has been the best spot for me. I love that patch. I believe it's cumulative. This is a patch, I, I barely ever wear this patch. I've probably only worn this. This is the Energy Enhancer. Honestly, I've only worn this patch about twice because the cumulative effects of the X39 were just that with each month I had more and more energy. And so I actually don't feel that I need any more energy. So I have that around. Sometimes I sample it to my, my customers. Um, I do not usually wear it myself. I just don't need it, but it's a great patch. This is the glutathione patch. This is a patch I never start anyone on in their first month. I, in my life, have taken many glutathione supplements I got sick from a black mold exposure and glutathione, um, I'm not talking about the patch, but glutathione itself is our body's master antioxidant. And many folks who wind up getting ill from toxicity need glutathione suppl supplementation. So many folks try to get that patch the first month. I don't add that patch the first month because I actually think that it can work quite strongly. And in my case, it upregulated my detoxification. So I started really slowly with that patch. This is the Alavita patch, which is marketed by LifeWave as a skincare patch. In my experience, I have found that I have had more beautiful skin. I've also had a soothing feeling when I put it on at night. And I've watched some of the videos on this and they didn't decide to talk about this, but what they found in their studies was a reduction in oxidative stress. And I have noticed for sure that I have looked younger, but I've also used many other patches. So I can't say that it's that patch exactly, but I can say that as soon as I started wearing it, I just felt wonderful when I was wearing it. My husband wears it as well. And he noticed that when he started wearing that patch, he stopped having to get up to the bath, uh, to go to the bathroom every single night in the middle of the night, which for a man in his late fifties is a huge improvement. This is the Carnosine patch. This has been a patch that I've also recommended for many people that have gone through similar mold exposures as I have. Um, this is a very supportive patch and I love that patch. And the last patch, this is the SP6 complete patch, which I have seen marketed as a, I think it's their, their uh, I don't wanna say weight loss, but it nurtures healthy weight loss, I think. And what I noticed with this patch, which is really interesting, this is just my observation with my own body, I was feeling a lot of blood sugar fluctuations and I don't know why it was happening, but I decided I'd read a little bit about this patch, so I decided to use it and I noticed that I felt a lot more stability in my blood sugar and even though I was not changing the way that I was eating, I was feeling better. I hope that this was helpful for you guys and I love the patches. We use them every day. I probably, right now I'm wearing the X39 and the X49 behind my neck and Tonight, most likely, I will wear the Alavita and the sleep patch. Sometimes I take nights off with the sleep patch and I still sleep soundly every single night. If you have any questions about the patches and you are not working with a brand partner, please go ahead and send me an email. I have included my email below. I'm actually not sure if the description on YouTube is below or to the side, but just look for where it says more and you're going to find my links where you can order through my replicated website. And you're also going to find my email in case you need help in choosing your first order. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay healthy and stay beautiful and let me know how your patches are.